National Committee is racing to apologize for his tragic decision to tell the truth about his own party. On Wednesday, former Obama Labor Secretary Tom Perez admitted the party's 2016 primary race was, quote, rigged in favor of Hillary Clinton, and he said he was the candidate who could restore transparency to the Democratic National Committee. Big mistake. Perez's comment outraged Clinton supporters, and a few hours later, he slithered onto Twitter to apologize. Colonel Glenn Greenwald wrote an article for The Intercept saying that Perez's apology says a lot about the current state of the Democratic Party. He joins us now from Rio de Janeiro to explain what exactly it says. Glenn, thanks a lot for coming on. Um, so you, you have this line at the beginning of your piece, which is what I would recommend to our viewers, an interesting piece. You said that Hillary Clinton won the meaningless popular vote on her way to losing, and that the singular charisma of Barack Obama kept him popular have enabled many to ignore just how broken the Democratic Party is. In what way is it broken exactly? It seems robust right now, but you say it's not. So there's obviously a lot of attention paid to the to the presidential election and to the fact that Hillary got three million more votes than than Donald Trump, which is true. Um, but it obscures a lot of really critical facts, including the fact that obviously the Democrats don't have control of either the Senate or the House. The Republicans do. They now have lost two thirds of governorships, which are also now in the hands of the Republican Party, and they are one state house away from enabling the Republicans to convene a constitutional convention on their own because they will have two-thirds of the state right. fully within their grasp, both controls of um, both houses of Congress. So it's a party that has collapsed as a national political force in the United States. It, it's not just the presidential election.